Hello guys, this is Adam Productions 47 here, and today I'm going to review Series 18 uh, Lego minifigures. And I already opened two of them, and the first one that I got was the spider, the spider guy or man spider. And I really like this one because it's like so detailed. Lego made a new mold with like the back print and the backpack, making it really look like a spider. And I really like how they did that. And they added eight legs and stuff, and his really detailed uh, helmet. And yeah. I really like his jacket also with like his little zipper right there and like the detail of the web and stuff and yeah and the next one that I got was this birthday cake guy and this series is supposed to celebrate the 40 years of Lego minifigures and they did a really great job um, doing this uh, minifigure. And I really like how they um, put, like, the detailed cake thing on there. Like, how when he jumped out of the cake or something. And I really like how detailed the cake is with, like, that stuff. And LEGO really took the time to just build this really awesome minifigure. And with all these new molds and stuff. And he has, like, even when you can't see it when he's inside the cake, they still make a uh, new new designs on that and I really like how they did that with his bow tie and stuff and yeah I like how um they put a hair in his head or uh, a hole in his head to put his party hat and yeah so let's just get started opening the ones that I haven't opened yet and yeah oh it's the clown so I got the clown, and this is actually one of my favorite minifigures, merely because of, like, the new molds that Lego made to make the balloon animals. And balloon, the balloon animals are, like, actually, like, one of my favorite parts of that, this. And I really like how Lego really took the time to make a new transparent and new mold, and I really like how they did that. And I also like the detailed of the details of his um, shirt and stuff. And I really like his hat and how, like, they made the mold for that also. And with this hat, they can also make, like, a Mad Hatter or something if they make a Disney Series 2 thing. And he also has, like, these tail coats right here where it goes, like, all the way down there. And, yeah, I just really like that he's, like, an overall really detailed character. Oh, we got the flower girl so I got the flower girl and I really like this minifigure because of like well actually there's not that many details but I really like the new mold for this flower and I really like how they add like the new uh, stem on her shirt and stuff and like the whole pot thing that's going on and I can't really say that much about this because it's not detailed as much as all the others but I can say this is a pretty cool uh, minifigure because it represents a flower pretty well with the pot and stuff and her stem as the torso on her. And yeah, let's just get on to the next minifigure. So I got the cat and this, ca uh, this cat is really detailed. I like how all th uh, this whole series, Lego has just made, been making new molds left and right. And I really like how the, they made the cat head mold and like uh, the like all the detail with like the tail and the fur stuff. And I really like how they made this uh, blue aqua fish. And yeah, I I literally like that um, Lego just took the time to like detail with like the collar with the paw on it and stuff. And how, like, they made a new mask. And, yeah, let's just get on to the next minifigure. Um, in the end, I will be rating this if you haven't watched my other review of these minifigures. So here's the birthday party girl. And I really like how, again, Lego is just making all these new molds with the, the new umbrella. And I really like the, uh, the hair that uh, she has with the red uh, style. And if you open this box right here, this gift box with, like, all the stripes and stuff on it, you open it up to get, uh, like, pastries and, like, a donut. And I don't know why she would put a donut in a box, but Lego just did that for some reason. And, 
Yeah, there's not much to yeah, say. Let's, let's just get on to the next pack. We got the unicorn. So you, here's the unicorn, and to be honest, actually, I don't really like this one. Really, because, like, they already made a unicorn, and they're just changing it to a different color. And this one doesn't even have that much detail. But I guess it's an okay minifigure, because, like, it's still, like, a dang unicorn. And it has, like, all of that uh, nice wavy hair on the back. And I like uh, the detail on the shield. But other than that, I don't think that there's anything else. Because in, like, Series 14 or something, they made a unicorn. And this isn't much different from that. But I, I can still like it, or I still like it. Because it's, like, it's pretty cool. I, uh, I guess Lego did a good job on it. But they could have been more creative on it. And let's just get on to the final pack. We got the brick guy. So here's the guy in the brick head, uh, the brick suit. And this is honestly one of my favorite out of like the whole uh, series. Probably because like this is like a, but they use like a SpongeBob mold on how they did that. And I like how they were that creative. And here's just a comparison on like the sides of the uh, the the molds and it really looks like uh like there's a, like a spongebob and i really like how they did that it was just like a slight alternation but i really like how you, it's like an actual functioning like lego you can just take one of these uh speed demons or something from infinity war it sticks right on there um Actually, that kind of looks like a Demi-Gorgon, but if you watch my other video, you'll see what I think that is. Um, and, yeah, I really like this one uh, because, like, also it has, like, a new hairstyle and, like, in brown. And I really like, uh, the, just, like, how it, like, it's actual Lego where you can just stick it on. And, like, like, right there. Just stick it on there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like how you can do that. You just have a guy just sticking it in the background. And yeah, I, that's actually one of my favorites out of this whole entire series. And let's just get into the uh, sorting. So here's the final thing. And I have obviously him at the front because like I just love how you can just stick stuff on there and he's so detailed. And obviously uh, the unicorn at the least. Because Lego just copied what they did in series 14. And yeah, it's not that much detail. It doesn't have that many details. And I put the clown at second because, like, I love how Lego just took the time to do all of that. Like, with all the details and new molds and stuff. And uh, then the next, the girl. And then the ice, uh, the birthday cake guy. Then the spider guy. And then the cat man. And then the flower girl, and then yeah, this is how I sorted it. Uh, this is probably like accurate how I explain these in the video because, like, it probably goes from like most like the best new mold to the least best mold, and then like from the details, we go on to that. And yeah, I really like this uh, series, it's kind of one of my favorites. I wouldn't say it's like uh like on top of the favorites, but I uh, this is a really cool one, and I like how Lego made all the new molds. And yeah, I'm Productions Forty Seven out.